Hello everyone, this is Sean here at SPS Walkthroughs. Today we're going to go over how to create a base image ready for deployment. So here I have my Windows 7 virtual machine. Haven't installed Windows on it yet, just created the virtual machine. Uh, loaded the Windows 7 installer into the virtual CD drive. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up. And so the first part is is pretty much the same as how you'd regularly install Windows. So here you just press next, install now. Now this Windows 7 installer uh, includes all the versions of Windows 7 except for Enterprise. Uh, I created this custom ISO, but for now we're just going to go with Windows 7 Professional 32-bit. We're going to do a custom install. Click New. Apply. OK. And then click Next. So we're almost done with expanding the Windows files. Go ahead and click Restart Now. You don't want to boot from the CD again because that's just going to start setup again, so just ignore that. So I'm just going to pause this part of the video real quick. Okay, it's restarted. Once again, ignore this. Okay, here's where you do something a little different. You're going to want to press Shift, Control, F3. The screen will go black, and then it'll restart. It'll start up Windows.
And what we did when we pressed those three keys was went into SysPrep's audit mode. And while you're in audit mode, you're able to customize the Windows installation by installing the apps or drivers that you would need. So you just boot right to the desktop and you're using the built-in administrator account. So for this, you want to just cl close out of this for now. And say we wanted to install Office. Or better yet, let's just use... So we're going to just use the night and we are going to just pick a couple things here um, and get the installer run it run it okay and this will install some programs for us Okay, so now that we've installed our custom software, we're going to go ahead and launch this prep. Double click and you want to enter the system out of box experience and you want to generalize. And what that will do will strip any of the hardware dependencies or system unique identifiers. All that will be wiped out and it will be just kind of this generic image. So, But we'll still have our custom software and be able to uh, install this on any Windows 7 compatible computer. So I'm going to choose shut down here and say OK. And so this will take a while. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to mount Cronus 2009 because we're going to be booting from that after this is done. Okay, so sysprep finished, so we're going to go ahead and start the machine again. And we're going to want to launch Cronus. Okay. So... If I can get my mouse to work. Oh, here. Uh, okay, so we're going to want to back up and choose the first disk. Second disk is just um, just the secondary disk that we're going to put the backup onto. In your case you're going to either use a uh, network share or external drive. Okay. So I'm going to save it to the uh, external drive and call it base image 2013. Okay. Just gonna put next. I'm gonna do want to do a full backup because we're not gonna 
do this again. Click next. Compression. Not gonna compress it. Okay. And then that's it. Start creating the image. And once this is done, you'll be able to have a, a custom Windows image that you can use on any system that's compatible with Windows 7 32-bit. So I hope this video helped you out and hope to see you next time.